In this lesson, we will try to use MongoDB as our underlying database for storing our embeddings and indexes. And we'll try to question our queries on top of this underlying database. And in this lesson, we are going to use a variant of MongoDB, which is called MongoDB Atlas. This is a cloud version of MongoDB. So instead of installing MongoDB on our local, there is this cloud enabled MongoDB variant which we can use it directly and it supports any of the cloud environment of your choice so to host this mongodb atlet database we can use aws azure or gcp so the next question would be how to create this mongodb atlas so there is a guide and there are step by step instruction how to create an atlas account on web and then actually we can access it directly so let me go to this link first and here you will find step by step instruction how to do this you can directly come over here and here you need to click on this one so that you can register yourself on mongodb then here you can sign up using google so i already have this account created so what you need to do actually you need to just pass this initial information and after that you can go to the login page of atlas and you can directly log in and once you log in then the second step would be you can create a cluster over there this is going to be a free cluster you are not going to get charged anything and you can just use Use it you can create anything over there you can create your collections over there can query on it so creating a cluster is also very easy like this whole particular setup is not going to take more than you know five minutes so here you can just log in over there after that you need to click build a database and once you create a database then you will give this option says m0 cluster is a free forever cluster so you can uh, select this m0 over here and once you select m0 then you have to select your preferred provider you can go aws google or azure it's up to you and after that you can select your third reason so whatever location is near to you you can select that as well and after that you can just specify a name your cluster and then just click on deploy the cluster once the cluster is created you have to create a database user for your clusters again the step by step instructions are over here you have to click on databases and then you have to give a username and password this username and password is required so that you can connect connected with your cluster from outside so let me show you like how it's going to look like because i do have this created this is my cluster i have given cluster name cluster llm and then what you can do to create a database user and come over here you will find database again here you can create add new database user and here you can give the username and password you can give a manual password or you can also go ahead with the auto generator secure password it's to you once you provide the username and password this would be enough to connect to this cluster externally you have created your cluster you have given the database access and all and one more thing i just wanted to highlight because we are trying to access it externally it will give you something like this your current ip address is not added so if you don't have your current ip address added in this one then you won't be able to access it so suppose if you want to access this particular cluster from your local then your ip should be added in uh, mongodb network so that information you can get it from here you, once you click on network access it will give you whatever ip are available as of now and uh, if it shows like your ip is not added then what you can do you can just click on add current ip then actually your ip would be added over here you can go to network access and you can see the ip has been added so once your ip has been added then you'd be good to connect with this the configuration and everything is very easy if you want to edit something then then also you can do it or if you want to create another cluster then you can also create it create a new cluster same option you will get over here you can select your location and all i have selected azure my location is this and then you can select anything and then create cluster it will also show you the pricing here because uh, i have selected m30 so it's giving its pricing because we are on m10 which is going to be free forever so this is what can be done on the cluster so once you have your cluster set up then what you can do to connect this cluster we need to get a connection string you can just click on this connect and after that you can click on drivers here you will see the code for a lot of drivers i'm just selecting a python and if you want to check full code how to connect it using python then you, you can also get it over here we do not want to get this code we are just interested in getting this connection url so what you need to do you need to take this connection string from here and you need to replace your password into this one or you can just copy paste over here and you can just save it on your local this is from cluster perspective and once you have everything you ready then what we need to do the next step is going to be we have to install pymongo 
on our local machine so that you can easily install it on you once you go to terminal then you can just hit pip install and py mongo it will install py mongo if you want to use mongodb for llm1 then there are two methods this mongodb atlas vector search is a preferred one and then there is another one you know where we are not using this mongodb atlas vector search we are going to use the mongodb atlas platform only but it's just that we are not specifically going to use this particular functionality. I will try to cover both. In the first part, we are going to look into how to connect it with MongoDB Atlas Vector Search. Let me go to my code now. I will start from here. We need to provide our open AI API key, which is going to be in environment platform. Another thing, new thing, what you can see over here, we need to pass our MongoDB connection string so the connection is string which we have got it from there what we need to do we need to go over environment file and then i just highlighted mongo ui you need to pass it over here so whatever connection string you have taken it from there you can replace the password like this and then you can put whole connection string over here so once you have this connection string declared in the environment file you can retrieve it using the same functionality how we are retrieving the open ai api key and then you can try to connect it just to enable this connection we are using this pymongo.mongo client pymongo we have already installed it and to import it we are using import pymongo once you import pymongo then you can use pymongo.mongo client and under that you can pass this mongo uri if the connection is successful then you will get this message if the connection is not successful then you will get this particular message but if everything goes well then your connection is going to be successful it means now you are able to connect to a mongodb cluster now once you have that thing ready then you can go ahead and use this mongodb atlas vector search and this mongodb atlas vector search will come from llama index only so under llama index you can go to vector stores and then under that you have this mongodb and from here we can import mongodb atlas vector search now this is going to make our code very easy because now you know like we are not specifically storing the our indexes and all those things mongodb atlas is going to take care of everything what we need to do over here we need to create a storage context then and we just need to pass this particular variable which we have, which we have created for mongodb atlas vector search and we can directly pass it over here so vector store we are just passing this particular store so that it it can identify okay we are using mongodb atlas vector search for our vector store now after that we are just going to pass the simple directory reader which is going to take file from input.txt and then we are going to load that data and at the end we are just going to ask questions so let's try to run this and see whether you know we are able to get a proper response or not here you can see i am not specifically declaring any kind of databases or any kind of collections i just want to go with the default route so let me try to run this and i'm just asking a question related to author and let me try to run this code now so you can see the connection is successful but we haven't got any response so let me go to our cluster and see whatever information we have passed, whether it got created or not. If I just click on this MongoDB address vector search, then you will see because we haven't passed any DB name over here. The DB name is going to be default DB. The collection name is going to be default collection and the embedding key is going to be embedding and all this information. So if you are going to look for our information, where our information is going to be loaded, then we need to first of all go to default DB and under that db we can look for default collection so let's first see whether this particular thing got created or not so i will go to my cluster and then i will go to this browse collections okay so here you can see the default db has been created and collection is also got created and it's loading the documentation as of now so whatever documentation we were seeing earlier in the form of like json file everything is now going to be created like this so here you can see Whatever text we had in the file, it certainly got loaded into this cluster, into this default DB and collection. But still, we are not getting any response out of it. Why this is happening? Because whenever actually we are using this MongoDB Atlas Vector Search, then we need to have index also created. So if the index is not created, then it won't be able to parse that document and we won't be able to get a response. So in this case, the total documents which got created are 19. So everything got created, but still we are not able to get a response because MongoDB Atlas Vector Search requires an index also to be created. So how to create that index? Let me go to the main page now 
and here you can see we do have all this information but at the last you can see at the search and here we have the index also so i can click on this create index it will ask for create search index and from here i will select json editor and click next it has listed out default db now it's asking for index name so what kind of index we need to create right so for that so there is an article on this atlas platform if we want to perform a vector search then first of all we need to create a vector search index and this is going to be specifically for llm kind of applications going to be format of this there is an example to create knn vector type of index and the, the dimension we need to describe and then what kind of you know similarity index it has to follow so there are three types we can just define any one of it so what i'm going to do there is a sample uh, given over here so i will just take this everything else you can remain it same but based on your collection you need to to define on which particular field you are going to create an index on in this example they have this plot embedding field which contains the embedding created using openai but in our use case uh, we need to identify where our embedding is going to get stored and that particular field only we need to mention it when actually creating this kind of index I can just copy it and then I can go to my cluster and here I can just you know paste it and what I need to do I'm just opening it in another link so that I can uh, check where my embedding is created I will go to view monitoring then I will go to collections and it's loading documents I can click on embedding and I can see the numerals over here right so my embeddings are are created in this embedding field so what I will do instead of plot embedding I will just skip embedding because in my collection in my document there is no field like plot embedding uh, my embeddings are stored into this embedding index name I will go ahead with the default one only and now so I have you know selected this default collection under this database you need to select your collections and my index is also created so I will just go ahead and click on next and we'll click on create search index so it has not been started now so I need to wait for this index to be created I can see the status now as an active so I will try to query our questions again and this time you can see I have got a response if you want to pass your custom db name collection name also then you can pass those here as well mongodb client is one parameter but suppose like after that you want to pass your db names you can just pass db name over here uh, you can also create your collections on cluster platform first like your database your collections over there and then you can pass you know that name over here if you're not passing any name then it's going to go with this default name like what happened in this scenario but if you want to customize it based on your unit then you can also pass that name as well yeah so that's all for this video thank you for watching